Hello everybody, this is Dr. Feminath. Today I am going to talk about various type of mask which is available in the market, the extent to which it gives you protection and how to choose between all these masks to be worn at a particular situation. Kindly watch it till the end because it is only towards the end that I describe various situations and which mask to be worn. Like for example, what an immunocompromised person has to wear, what a person in a, traveling in an aircraft has to wear, so on and so forth. There are two organizations who work for developing guidelines in these circumstances. They are Center for Disease Control and Occupational Safety and Health Administration. They go on to say that all people who moved in public space has to wear a mask. They exempt certain people from wearing a mask. They are kids who are below two years of age, people who have got severe respiratory difficulties, a person who is exercising, a person who cannot wear a mask with the, without the help of uh, somebody else, or rather he requires an assistance to wear a mask. All these people have been exempted from wearing a mask. They also go on to say that N95 masks should not be worn by general public and it's only to be reserved for healthcare workers. Probably they would have come out with this statement because at that point of time there was severe shortage of N95 mask. But in my opinion there are certain circumstances where even public has to wear N95 mask. Now let us see how this, uh, this virus spread. You all know that air travels from higher temperature to lower temperature causing air currents. Now if a person is infected, he will have high temperature around, you, around him. So that there can be an air current flowing out from him and which can carry virus along with that. And a person inhaling can develop infection. But this is still not completely believed. Another way in which you can uh, uh, contact infection is a person who is infected will have a lot of viruses in his respiratory secre secretion. When he coughs or sneezes, these respiratory secretions will be pushed out in the form of drops. These drops, when another person inhales, can develop infection. So let me, let me just see what are the different kinds of masks which is available. There are a lot of masks which is available in the market, but let me you know, confine myself to N95 mask, then uh, surgical mask and mask which has been made from fabric or rather cloth. N95 has got the highest filtration followed by uh, surgical mask followed by cloth mask. Let us see how, what does this mask intend to do. There are two purposes. The primary purpose is that, source, that of source control. A person who is infected should not be allowed to spread this infection to the environment is what the primary function of mask is. By that it means that when a person who is infected coughs it should be held back by his, mom, by his mask. That's what is intended. The secondary function is filtering on of inhale, inhaled air. That is, when a person inhales air, he should not inhale air which is infected. Or rather, it has, uh, rather uh, he should not inhale air which has got viruses in it. How is it possible? Now, N95 mask has got a capability of filtering particles which is greater than 0.1 micrometer. Whereas the smallest virus is 0 0.06 micrometer. So can N95 mask prevent inhaling a virus particle which is of 0 0.06 micrometer? No, it's not possible. So this has spurred in a lot of controversies saying that only infected people need to wear a mask. That is also wrong because we do not know in many situations we have seen people who are asymptomatic and are COVID positive. So that is not true. And at the same time, we all know that even though the mask, N95 mask cannot filter in the smallest virus particle, it can filter, in, filter out most of the larger droplets and larger virus particles. So the viral load which a person inhales will be less when you wear, wear an N95 mask or any, any other mask. So, it, so the very purpose of wearing a mask is justified. Now, let me tell you different circumstances. If a person is going out in public in an open space where social distancing is possible, he can just get away with a cloth mask, a mask made up of fabric. I have seen people 
wearing N95 mask and going for jogging. It's very unscientific. What happens is while you exercise, there is a lot of carbon dioxide which has been exhaled out. He inhales back the same carbon dioxide. You all know that oxygen is required for energy, for making energy. Now when oxygen is deprived, what happens is it uh, resorts to anaerobic metabolism wherein a lot of acidosis happens. That is a lot of acid metabolism takes place and that it is very deleterious to our health. But rather it happens that way that uh, there is acidic metabolism, rather acidosis happening in our body. Now when you are placed in a closed room, you have to step up like in the case of an office setup, you have to step up the ability of your mask to filter particles. A surgical mask should be the minimum which has to be worn. Now in, when you are traveling in an aircraft where there is a lot of air current, air flow happening, there is high chance that you can get infected. In these circumstances, N95 has to be worn. Now talking about immunocompromised people, immunocompromised people can be of two types. One, one is a person who is taking in immunosuppressive medicines like corticosteroids in case of uh, organ transplant or he has got some autoimmune diseases etc. Now such people as well as a person who is infected with HIV who has got low immunity because of the infection or even diabetes such people if they have no respiratory difficulty it is better that they wear N95 mask to maximize their protection. Now talking about medical and dental operatory, we all know most of the dental operatory equipments and medical operatory equipments uses oil as lubricant. So when they function what happens is there will be oil aerosol which is formed. N95 cannot filter in oil aerosol. So in these circumstances it is better that N, instead of N95 it is better that R95 or P95 be used. So you should now correlate the circumstances which I have told and your condition. So accordingly you should decide on which mask has to be worn. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel, press the bell button and in the next video I will be coming up with evaluation of how a mask can harm our body. Till then it's goodbye from me.